Somebody needs a diaper change. You can hold the fresh one while we get you changed. Got your fresh wipe here. It's all cleaned up. You get that stinky diaper off. I'll charge you a book for the diaper. You want to hold the book? Oh, I dropped it. Okay, so now I'm going to share a little how-to. How did I do that? How did I do the stop motion? How am I making her hold this book right now? You can kind of sit a little bit because the light's catching it. But all I do to make her hands hold on to things or any of my babies, I use these clear bands. They're just the little hair bands like you get at Walmart. You can get like a whole package of them for like $2 or something. But these are incredibly stretchy. I mean, they will stretch really big. So right now, I've got this stretched around both of her hands. And then I position the book in her hands to make it look like she's holding it. You know, I kind of crumple it up because babies are going to hold a book like that. So that's how I get her to hold stuff. And it looks natural. The bands are clear. So unless the light is catching them or something, you can't really see them. And it makes great photography too. I just uploaded a bunch of pictures to Facebook and Instagram of her playing and I had her in different positions. So how did I do the stop motion? Well, it's kind of hard to get it synchronized, especially when you're trying to video like I was trying to video changing her diaper because you have to get your own movements kind of going in with it and I'm not an expert so you know I did the best I could but what you do is you hit the record button on your camera and then you pause so every little movement I'm gonna do it right now I'm gonna hit pause and then move it a little bit and then I'll hit play so here's my first movement I'm just gonna show it to you without hitting pause so I do that then I'm going to hit pause and then I'm going to move it again while it's paused and then unpause it and it's going to look like she moved it. Okay, so that was actually four movements that I just did. Each time I would move it just a tad, I would unpause. So I, I unpause to show the movement I just did and then I would repause it move it just a tad, pause it back again. And so I'm going to do that. Like I'm going to try to like talk after I move it. Okay. So I'm moving it downward. I'm going to pause. Okay. I unpaused and while I had it paused, I moved it downward one more little step. So I'm going to do it again. I unpaused and that time while I had it paused I moved her hands upward so you just kind of practice with it and then you can make your uh, movements more fluid you'll have to practice at it I'm not great at it either I need to add more movements in with mine so that it seems more fluid and then when you're you've got it in a video sometimes you'll have to speed it up so not only have you recorded by pausing and all that making the movements sometimes the movements are really herky-jerky so you have to speed it up and i use InShot. that's one of my favorite editors that i use and um, you can speed the recording up 
And so it'll make her actions seem a little bit more fluidic. I mean, you can do anything with this. You can move legs, arms, head, whatever it is that you're trying to do. And it's just really fun. I like doing this when I'm doing role play. It's a whole lot of fun to do it, to have, have the stop motion. It is very time consuming though. So it's just something that you have to practice at to get good at it. And uh, like I said, I'm not an expert or anything, but um, I practice doing it and it's a lot of fun. And then the baby sounds, you can go to YouTube. I've been getting a lot of questions about that lately. Um, you can go to the search bar in YouTube and you can search copyright free baby sounds and tons of stuff will pop up. Some of the baby sounds I use are from uh, my grandson when he was a baby. So it's, I copied it and then converted it and made it into sounds. So if you know someone who has a baby that don't mind you recording their baby's sounds, then you can like add that in. So with InShot, when you save a sound, it's in your music and you go to music and you add it. So it's super fun. I really like using InShot. It's fun to edit and um, yeah, I have a lot of fun with it. So my next video, I'm going to be doing a tag by Jadalina's Reborn Nursery. Um, and that's how the origin of your channel name got started. And I'm going to show you my new changing area, like in more detail, I'll do it landscape, but I don't know. I just wanted to do this video, uh, vertical for some reason. I just wanted to do it that way. So, uh, that is all of this video. Just wanted to share a little bit because if someone else wants to try to recreate something that I've done, I think it's a lot of fun to share how you do things. I do like to share that kind of thing, like where I got items and, and how to do certain things or whatever. So yeah, I just wanted to do that little video to kind of give a somewhat of a tutorial, I guess, on how to do stop motion. So I hope you enjoyed seeing baby Gemma again. And I am gonna have another baby when I do my next video. And that'll be coming up probably tomorrow, if not later tonight. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching.